In this Revit tutorial, we're going to move ahead and create a sign for this front entry that we created on the south edge. And we're going to use the model text tool to do that. So if I just come to my south elevation, and I'm going to come up here on this model panel, still on the architectural tab, and we're going to pick a plane to do this on. So if I just select this front wall as my panel that we're going to place the sign on, and then I'm going to type in here, Acme Supply, which is what I want that building sign to read. And you'll see that I can actually drop this in here. I want to drop it in here between bays D and E and we'll just go ahead and drop it here and then I want to select it once and point out a couple things one you'll see that it's a 24 inch model text right now so if we wanted to make this a little bit larger I'm going to duplicate here and I'm just going to give us a 30 inch sign so 30 inch, I'm going to leave the font what it is, but I'm going to create another size. So now we'll have 30 inch Arial in here as well. And then I just need to change this to 30 inches. And now you'll see on my type list, we just added another type. So we have 30 inch as well. So it's pretty simple to use the model text tool and I do want to show you a couple other things if we just look at this back in our 3d view here so now you can actually see this wordage on the south edge of the building and if I select on that wordage and come down the depth right now is six inches off the building that's gonna be a little deep we might want to just modify this to like two or even you know two or three inches be sufficient enough and you'll watch the depth of that text redu be reduced somewhat. The last thing, because you do see if I just deselect, you'll see that the material of my text is just a grayed out generic material. But if I click on material here, let's see, maybe we'll use a stone. We could also use the precast, very similar to the cap we had up top, and click OK for that. And you'll see that'll give us a material for that building sign as well. I hope this video has been helpful for you in understanding how to use the model text for any signage. Or actually, you can be pretty creative. There's lots of things that you can do, even at a diagrammatic level, where you might want to quickly use some model text, add a label to any sort of room that you might be as you're just thinking more programmatically at an earlier level of a project and so forth. So the model text tool I've seen used for a lot of different things. So just be creative and add this as one more tool to your arsenal.